Hello, welcome to Behavior Bits. Thank you for watching. This is brought to you by Twin Rivers Unified School District. In this video, we will be addressing coping strategies, what it is, and how to utilize it with your child. First and foremost, what does coping strategy even mean? Coping strategy is an action or thought to take to reduce or manage stress. It helps reduce and or eliminate stress, and it also helps calm our emotions down. Um, every human utilizes a coping strategy. Every human uses different coping strategies in many different ways. Um, not everyone copes the same way. So it's super important to recognize what your child's coping strategy is. The three questions that you want to ask your child is what helps you calm down? You can give examples to your child and you can also test out the coping strategy to see what works best. Again, every child has a different coping strategy. In the previous slide, I mentioned that there's multiple types of coping strategies. In this slide, I mentioned the most common coping strategies that children and even adults utilize. That is, asking for a break, asking for help, asking for more time, taking deep breaths, breathing in and letting it out, blowing bubbles, and or even squeezing a stress ball, pillow, squishy toy, Play-Doh. An important question to ask is, when do I teach my child to use a coping strategy? You can teach your child to use a coping strategy at any time. Throughout the day, you want to review with your child what coping strategy they chose that works best for them. You also want to remind them to use coping strategies when they start to feel angry or mad or stressed, or when they're about to engage in a problematic behavior. A problematic behavior can be a tantrum, it can be aggressive behavior, it can be noncompliance, it can be self-injurious behavior. Most children show or give signs when they are starting to become angry, mad, stressed, or engage in that problematic behavior. This is the best time to tell your child to utilize their coping strategy. Some common signs that one is feeling angry, mad, upset, or about to engage in a problematic behavior is a clenched fist, clenched jaw, looking away from you, ignoring the instruction, refusing to do work, grunting, whining with or without tears, hands uh, across their body, and their head down. These are just some examples of behaviors a child may have before they become angry or engage in that problematic behavior. You want to note what your child's behavior is before they engage in that problematic behavior so we can teach them to utilize a coping strategy to help them calm down. A great tool that coincides with coping strategies is zones of regulation. Zones of regulation is a self-regulating tool to help children and adults notice when and how they are feeling. For example, there's four zones, blue, green, yellow, red. Blue zone means sad, sick, tired, bored, just moving slowly. Green zone, happy, calm, feeling okay, focused, and ready to learn. Yellow zone, is frustrated, worried, can be silly, excited, or just loss of some control. Red zone is mad, angry, terrified, yelling, hitting, out of control, engaging in that problematic behavior. This self-regulating tool is a great visual and a great way to teach your child when they are in the yellow zone to utilize coping strategies so they do not get into the red zone. It's also a great visual to teach your child when to utilize coping strategies and giving them examples. So for instance, you seem like you're in the yellow zone, let's use your coping strategy. Or, great job calming down and getting to green zone. Some children love using this zones of regulation by using the color zones and not saying how they're feeling. So for example, if I'm feeling frustrated, I can say I'm in the yellow zone. Another great question to ask is, what to do when your child needs to utilize the coping strategy? In the time that your child needs to utilize a coping strategy, allow them to use it until they're calm. Once your child has calmed down, you want to praise them for calming down and then go back to the task at hand. And then you also want to remind your child that he or she can utilize a coping strategy when they start to feel upset. You can also utilize the zones of regulation during this time. For example, 
I see my child is angry by clenching her fist. I tell her, hey, it looks like you're angry. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Let's take some deep breaths. I let my child take some deep breaths. It may take her some time until she's finally calm. Once she's calm, she will be happy. And that's when I will reinforce her by giving her a high five or just saying, hey, good job calming down. Let's get back to work. But remember, when you start to feel upset again, you can utilize coping strategies. Some coping strategy reminders. Coping strategies is a great tool to calm emotions. Remember that every person uses different methods of coping strategies. So you want to ask your child what coping strategy works best for them. You also want to remind your child throughout the day that he or she can use their coping strategy when they feel upset. Lastly, have your child use their coping strategy when they show signs of problematic behavior. Here are some resources to use to find visuals and understand more about coping strategies and zones of regulation. The first bullet is a YouTube video called De-Escalation Works that Hope Bridge Autism Therapy Center had made a song out of. I highly recommend you listen to it. Thank you for your time and watching Behavior Bits and learning some new things about coping strategies. <laughs>